Okay, now we are on to part five of this series, which is where we're going to take a deep dive into the actual features of tasks. These are what actually give me that magical little list that I showed you from part one in this series. So today we're going to dive into the features that I set up so that I can make that list happen. So let's go ahead and dive into it now. So remember, this is the list that I am looking at most of the time in ClickUp. But in order to do that, you need to set up your task in a very specific way. So let's dive into my HQ space. I want to show you a weekly recurring task and give you a little bit more insight into how I'm using the task within ClickUp. Something that is so important, every single time you make a task, in order to get that awesome list, you have to first assign it to yourself. You've got to assign a priority status. So you can see this one's normal. You could click it and pick another option or clear it out. You need to set a due date. So you can click this little tab right here and a calendar will pop up. If I don't know the exact due date, but I want it in my calendar so that I can um, start seeing it and remembering it, I'll just do it to the next Monday if I know I want to schedule it somewhat soon, but I don't know the date. Or I'll go, what month do I want to do it in or what quarter do I want to do it in? And then I just do it for the first month of or the first Monday of that month or quarter. And that's just a little trick that I've done so that as I'm creating these tasks and saying like, Melanie, this shit is important. You need to get it done. I'm not just like putting it somewhere where I'll never see it again. So that's why I really like to do that. And now I'm super excited to show you these recurring task features too. So you can see for this specific task, this is my weekly HQ metrics where I, I go in and I track metrics every week. It's repeating for every Monday. And then after I close the task, it changes it to the next due date and sets the status back to open. So let's look at these settings so that you can see how I created that. So I've got it to repeat a schedule. You can also get it to repeat a trigger. I have it for every week on Monday and it never ends and I want the action to be changed due date. And then in advanced options, it knows to repeat it once it's closed. That's what this means, repeat on close. It sets it to the next occurrence, which will be the next week's Monday. And it makes sure that the status is set to open so that I see it on my list. So that is how we set up the recurring task. And I'll show you what a monthly and a quarterly recurring task looks like also, because I think that could be really interesting. Something else I want to show you are all of the little features within a task in ClickUp. So you can add tags here if you want. I don't use tags a lot. Um, I've kind of experimented with it. As you can see, there's just a lot of stuff um, that I've already created, but I actually don't use tags too often. So that's why I haven't really included them in this series. I don't think they're the most important thing to actually get started and to get click up, like helping you out big time. So, but that is an option. Um, you also title it. This is the name of the task. Now here's something I love. I use this often. This is this little like description slash caption section and it's got a full text editor so you can add images links um, you can highlight things which I sometimes do because if you like end up adding a lot of text to your your comments or your captions it can be nice to highlight things you can do different headings let me move this out of the way you can see it better so as you can see here I've got a description for this task I want to record these things in Airtable for the week that it just passed so I've got one for a couple of my funnels I track my weekly sales I track my weekly KPIs my key performance indicators and then I also just have a to-do item to like download my ConvertKit subscribers. I don't want to make that its own task. That totally could be its own task, but I kind of, in my brain, I like lump it all together. Like what's like the, the housekeeping that I need to do to like wrap up last week, basically. And then I've also started writing instructions here. And the point of that is, okay, if I have someone that comes in on my team, I hire a VA, my OBM, what are the instructions to do this? You can also comment right here. So this is really great. ClickUp doesn't really have a chat or messaging feature like Asana does. So something I've done to kind of adapt to ClickUp not really having that feature is anything that needs to be chatted about just is talked about right within the task. And then 
you can also see here on your team, we've got an inbox and then we just create a new task within this inbox list for anything that needs to be talked about that doesn't have like a specific task. And you can tag people whenever you're commenting so that they get a notification in their inbox. It's really awesome. So let's look at a monthly task so that I can show you what that recurring setting looks like. So my Squarespace Facebook group, every month I want to check in about these things. So let's see what this looks like in the settings. So repeat schedule, that stays the same. And then instead of every week, it's set for every month. And then this is what's really cool. Whenever you're doing it every month, you can say, I want it to recur on a very specific date of the month, or I want this task to recur on a specific week of the month. So right here, I've got it by week. I do this on the second Tuesday of every single month. So you can see that Tuesday selected here is whenever I go through and check in about like content ideas, get feedback, et cetera. Then everything else is pretty much set up the same way. It doesn't end, the actions change the due date, close, next, recurrence, et cetera. So that is the monthly recurring task. Let's look at quarterly. And then I'm gonna show you how to get that awesome list because it's something that you can set up and save as a, a filter. It's really cool. Okay, so let's do plan out editorial and content calendar. Let's look at the settings. So this is set for every three months because it's quarterly. So you can see here, repeat schedule every three months. This is gonna be on the first Monday of every of the, every third month, basically. And then the advanced options are the exact same. Okay, so that's an up close look at tasks. Let's talk about that awesome list that I have. So to do that, to create that really awesome list to look at every day, you need to click spaces and all. And then let's clear this out so I can show you how to create it. Okay, so when you click all spaces, you probably see something like this. It's basically all of your projects separated and then there are tasks within that. The first thing you can do is just click due date and that's gonna sort it by due date. So that's how you get this overdue today, tomorrow, et cetera. Then the next thing you need to do is click priority. And now we've still got overdue today, tomorrow, et cetera, but now it's arranged by priority status. The next thing you need to do, because this is just all the tasks within ClickUp still, and we only want to look at your task, you can go here to this little filter icon, you can click assignee, and then you pick yourself. And now you can see here are all my specific overdue tasks. Here's what order I need to do them in. They're all set to high. And then for today's task, you can see I've got all of these listed out and then they're prioritized by the status flags, by the priority flags. So the next thing you can do, really, really important, is you can save this view of your task. So you just click this floppy disk icon, five gold stars if you know what a floppy disk is. <laughs> and then you would just want to click right, right here where it says my filters. You'd want to click save filter and then you would want to name it. And then say I tweaked this view like I want to, I don't know, I want to add, let's see, start date. So now you can see it's got this column here where it says start date. If I wanted to update so that my view, my saved view always had this start date, then I would just click this floppy disk and then I would, um, let's see, I would click save filter and then I could, I would just select the one that I've already created and you can see it changed to replace. And yeah, here's this thing too, like these little three dots, it shows you um, different things that you can add to your view. So if you want to take something away or add something, you can totally do that. Like you might not want this time estimate or you might not have a time estimate listed and you want to know how to get it listed. This is how. So you can kind of play around with that. So that is pretty much it. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. I can keep adding to it. So if you have any specific questions, please let me know. And best of luck getting your business and your schedule all organized. It's going to feel so good once you do it after it's done. 